The tuition fee rise, we need to examine that fairly carefully because it's a deceptive um, it's a, de a deceptive piece of budgeting. It, it comes across like a tax, but of course it's just literally allowing the tuition fees to rise with inflation. Uh, it's pitched as a solution to secure the financial sustainability of English universities, uh, but it appears to fall drastically short on multiple fronts, creating a burden without clear benefit. The increase is modest, £285 per year, bringing the fee to 9535 for 2025 to 2026. But even this small increment could deter students from lower-income backgrounds, particularly as maintenance grants remain off the table, making this fee hike feel less like support and more like a punitive tax on ambition. And while this measure will generate an estimated £390 million annually for universities, the corresponding increase in employer costs, particularly due to national insurance adjustments, nearly offsets this amount automatically, yielding only £18 million pounds in net gain, hardly transformative. According to the Russell Group, universities were already losing £2,500 per domestic student, even before the rise. So as the demand for international students plateaus, the financial pressure on institutions remains unmitigated, forcing universities into a holding pattern rather than on a path to solvency. Moreover, the impact on disadvantaged students is minimal, and frankly disheartening, the rise in maintenance loans, capped at £414 for students living in London, equates to a real terms increase of just 1.6%, doing little to bridge the gap between current loan provisions and actual living costs. For aspiring doctors, the British Medical Association warns that this potentially compounds the problem, pushing medical students' debt beyond £100,000, a figure daunting enough to discourage students from economically challenged backgrounds altogether. Uh, the Labour Party says it wants to help working people, but it's clearly not helping students from a working people's background. Education Secretary Philip um, Bridget Philipson's description of this as a first step for sustainability rings hollow especially when sustainability translates into more debt for students, negligible improvement in university resources, and a deceit in the way this rise was presented. So lies, inadequacy, and a burden. Those are the three words, aren't they? It's like Pilgrim's Progress all over again, but played out in actual in, 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 in actual life with a real bank debt that uh, people are carrying for years. It translates into nothing positive. Unless further reforms introduce maintenance grants and seriously consider university funding models, this tuition fee rise will remain what it currently is, an ineffective plaster on a much deeper wound, doing little to help universities and even less to support students.